are the conditions under which somebody can say they're a Christian and be either lying or wrong, and the conditions under which someone can say I'm not a Christian and be either lying or wrong, if you see what I mean. <laughs> That's a very good question. Well, something came to mind right away when you asked that question, like mm -hmm. pretty much instantly. It said, the, the, the redempt... <clears throat> There's a, there's a reason that Christ is represented as the person who took the sins of the world onto himself. Well, that's the, that's the essence. It's like the world is a, a fallen place and you have the responsibility to do something about that. And the degree to which you take that responsibility onto yourself, that's the degree to which you are Christian. follower of Christ. I right? suppose and it's, that's not, a it's not an on and off switch. That was an, uh, it's not unfair to frame it as such, I suppose. It's not like as, you either are on, on or off switch. It's not like you're, no, I think you want to make you're a Christian commitment. or you're not. Well, it's like you're more or less. When, when Jacob decides to be a good person instead of a bad person, yeah. he builds an altar and it signifies his willingness to sacrifice his, mm -hmm. his past self. I think that people decide in many ways and maybe multiple times whether they're going to aim up or not. Now, that's that initial commitment. So it's like a baptism in a sense that you decided that you're going to aim up. Mm. Okay, well, now you can do that badly because you will. And you see this in the Old Testament accounts of the prophets all the time. A lot of them are pretty reprehensible when they first yeah. find their feet. But you can stumble your way uphill. And that, that, is what it, that is the essence of Christian belief is to stumble your way uphill with the maximum load you can bear. And the thing that's so fascinating about that is that that's also the pathway of maximal meaning. Mm. And that meaning is exactly what enables you to bear the load. So it's a very, it's a very paradoxical what would you say? It's a very paradoxical reality. Mm. And, and I think the, the essence of the Christian faith is the imitation of Christ. It's not the mouthing of the words. Now, that doesn't mean the words shouldn't be in accordance with the commitment. They should be. Yeah. But, but the commitment can't be reduced to the utterance. Mm. It, the commitment is the carrying. Yeah. Right. As, as and, and the carrying in relationship to a goal. In, in the imitation of Christ. It's in the imitation. The, uh, 